stopping at Chainani, Chainani, Chainani. <laughs> And today I'm here with a giant book haul. I have a total of 20 books because there was a sale at Value Village. All books 50% off, so you know your girl went a little crazy. So without further ado, let us get started. So since I have so many books, I'm not going to give like a synopsis or anything on them. I'm just going to show them and be like, yo, this is the book I bought. The first book I have is Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli, and I actually have the second book in this series, and I didn't know that it was the second book, so I saw this one and I was like, hmm, need the first one, so I picked it up. So now I have both of them. I'm probably going to read this for a readathon since it is so short, so I'm excited about it. The next book I have is Hold Me Closer Necromancer by Lish. McBride. I honestly have no idea what this is about. I just really like the cover and it was shiny and I was like, I want it. Literally no idea what it says about, but it says Conjuring the Dead in uh, big bold letters in the back, so sounds like it would be up my alley. The next book I have is The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider, and I've seen this around booktube like everywhere, so I bought it just for that reason. I don't know if people like it. Don't know if they hate it. I just recognized the cover and it was like a buy four get one free, so it was my free book. The next two books that I have are from the same series. They're the School of Good and Evil series. I have the first book and I've had it forever. Have I read it yet? No. These are both by Soman Che Nani. Probably butcher that. But this is the second and third book in the series. The second one is called A World Without Princes and the third one is The Last Ever After. I bought them because I had the first book and I figured I might as well get them at half price instead of full price. The next book I am so excited about because if you've been on this channel for a while, you know this is one of my favorite authors, but it is Glass by Ellen Hopkins. This is the sequel to Crank, and I've had Fallout, which is the third book in this series, forever, so I finally have the second book so I can read that, then I can read Fallout, and I can be a happy little camper that I've read almost all of Ellen Hopkins books. The next book I have is the sixth Harry Potter book by J.K. Rowling. It's Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This was the only one I had left. It doesn't match the other books that I have, so I was kind of bummed out, but I've never found the sixth book any thrift store, so I was like, I'll just get it even though it doesn't match them. We'll make the sacrifice so that I can have the whole collection. Have I read the fourth book yet? No. Is it going to happen? Eventually. Leave me alone. The next two books are both bind-ups from the same author. The author is V.C. Andrews. So I got one that has If There Be Thorns and Seeds of Yesterday, and then the other one has Flowers in the Attic and Petals of the Wind. Everybody's been telling me that I need to read Flowers in the Attic because it's like real fucked up, and your girl loves fucked up psychological thrillers, so everyone's like, you need to read it! So I found both of these. I figured like four books for half price each might as well. Just pick them up, you know? The next book I have, I saw on booktube a lot previously, like it was all over the place. It is The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. I have another book by her, this is what Happy looks like. I haven't read it yet, so like I don't even know if I like her writing. But I saw this and I was like, I've seen it before, so I'm gonna buy it. So I did. The next book I have is Ink by Amanda Sun. Honestly, I bought this because of the cover. I've seen it on booktube before and I just think it is gorgeous. So I was like, I need it just so I can display it. I honestly don't even know what it's about, but I've always loved the cover, so I needed it. The next book I am so flippin' excited about. I mean, like, it's kind of illegal that they were selling it and I bought it, but like, I ain't even mad. And it is Little and Lion by Brandy Colbert. This was on my most anticipated reads when it first came out, and I wanted it so badly, and then I found an art copy of it, which, you know, technically should not be sold, but, like, I'm not gonna say anything because now it's in my possession. And everybody loves this book, so I want to be on the bandwagon, too. The next book I have is Vanishing Girls by Lauren Oliver. I have, like, a love-hate relationship with Lauren Oliver. I love her, like, young adult books, but I don't really like her, like, middle grade books, but this is a young adult, so I'm thinking I'm gonna like it. The next book I have is More Than This by Patrick Ness. I've never read a Patrick Ness book, but everybody loves him, so I was like, I need it, and it's, like, in such good condition, so I snatched that right up right away. The next two books I am so excited about. I read the first book in this series a while ago, and I absolutely loved it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. But I found the next two books in the I Hunt Killers trilogy by Barry Liga. So I have Game and I have Blood of My Blood. So now I can marathon the whole series and I am so excited about it. I'm hoping that I love them as much as I love the first one, but like, 
Yay! The next book I have is Blessed by Tonya Hurley, and honestly, the only reason I bought this book was because I saw it on Book Outlet like years ago. And I recognized the cover, and it was like my free book, so there you go. I now own it. The next book that I have is called Passing Strange and this is by Daniel Waters. This is the third book in the Kiss of Life, Generation Dead series. I haven't read them but I have the first two books so I was like, need. The next book I have is The Creeping by Alexandra Siroy. I just really liked this cover and I've seen it on a couple of people's channels like a long time ago and it looked spooky so... I wanted it, so I bought it. And then the final book that I have is called Reunited by Hilary Wiseman Graham. And this is another one I just recognized from BookTube. So I was like, might as well get it when it's half price. Alright guys, so that was my 20 book book haul from Value Village. I haven't yet to read any of these books. It's probably going to take me 30 years to read all of these books, but I mean, they were cheap, so your girl is happy. Let me know down below if you read any of these and what you thought of them. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah.